Welcome to EC in Trade daily video. Before we begin, it should be noted that any advice is of a general nature only and that your personal circumstances have not been taken into consideration. Hello everyone, my name is Rob Clayton and thank you very much for joining me. Yesterday, the Australian dollar bears crushed the level of 68.45 and now exposes the support level of 67.70. Very soon, the Australian Bureau of Statistics will release the Australian employment data for December. The forecast for the employment change is seen at 12,200 versus last month's surprising 39,900. Last month's numbers were a little bit deceiving though, as it is a combination of full-time and part-time jobs. Of the 39,900 jobs created in November, only 4,200 were full-time and 35,700 was part-time. This month, expectations for the full-time employment change is negative 8,000, while the part-time employment change expectations are for 24,000. The unemployment rate is expected to hold at 5.2. Any advances should fail towards 68.65. The euro is still struggling to take out the level of 110.80 after the dollar index retreats overnight and posts a low of 97.20. With the cap still holding at 97.60.80, I still expect to see another test up there and therefore should put pressure back to the downside. Later today, we do have the ECB rate decision and it's widely expected they will keep rates on hold. Any advances should find resistance around 111.15 and a cap at 111.80 to 112.10. Dollar yen breaks further and now just on the verge of taking the challenge to 109.60. A break beneath there would give further scope down towards 108.85 to 108.20. Any advances should fail, with the cap still holding around the 110 figure 60 area. Well, the pound found a bit more momentum overnight and now could possibly break higher if we clear the level of 131.60.70. This would give further scope up towards 132.55. Also, Boris Johnson, the UK. Um, Prime Minister declared we've done it in Parliament as it finally passes the Brexit bill after three years of bitter and challenging contests on taking Brexit comfortably out of the EU. Nevertheless, the market is now hoping that we see a softer landing. Finishing up with gold, well, the market is still showing somewhat bullish momentum after fears of the... Coronavirus has spread with death toll now up to 17. Although we did get a rejection of 65, if we see a move past there, then we could see a reinstate top side target of 1,600. With any dips still starting to be shallow, and see support from 50 and a base at 38.40. Wrapping up with the oil outlook, well, the market lost 2%, crushed the level of uh, $57 a barrel, and now leaves me neutral. I'd like to see how the market plays out and see if it does continue on, and maybe look towards the support of 54, 75 to 95. Well, that wraps it for today. Thank you very much for joining me, and as always, look out for the Inch Day Report. I hope you enjoy the great start to the new day.